Hi everyone, Crystal here. I wanted to share with you a design team project that I created for the Wild Bunch, Wild Orchid Crafts. I wanted to alter um, these mailbox, um, these mailboxes that I purchased last year from the dollar spot at Target and I figured this year would be the year I would alter them. I've had them for over a year now, but um, Valentine's is coming up so I decided to alter it. So the first one I altered was this one here and it's a nice pink color. Um, I didn't do any painting, I just left it in its uh, original state. And so I used uh, the basic gray True Love collection from last year. Uh, I'm trying not to buy any kind of crafting anything. So I'm trying to use everything that I've had um, just kind of tucked away in my uh, in my craft room here. So. I used that paper um, stack from last year and so I just covered the entire box with it. Super pretty papers. Um, let's start with this side. This side I just did, I left it plain because I wanted this to kind of show. Um, I just adhered some bling hearts for the eyes and then a bling heart um, kind of for the center of this flower. And then I just used some trims that I had in my stash um, here and then here I lined the edge. Super cute. And then I used a bunch of Wild Orchid Craft uh, flowers, of course. I used here some, <clears throat> excuse me, tu ivory tulips. And then some, I just had some fabric leaves in my stash. And then um, a Melissa Francis resin. I had some pink hip rose buds here. This here is a trellis, um, or not a trellis, I'm sorry, a Tuscany rose in the 40 millimeter. This is a wild rose, trellis rose in 35 millimeter, and my second favorite flower now is the tea rose. And then I just adhered um, this applique that I had hidden in my stash um, in the background. And then here is just a banner from the collection that says keepsake. And then this one here is just a, um, what do you call this? A butterfly from Michaels from the Christmas um, aisle. And then what else? And then oh here, this is some flat back pearl trim from Waldorf Crafts. I will link all the um, codes for each item I used in the description below for those of you that want to check it out. So there's that. These will be put on those candlesticks from the Dollar Tree. I just didn't um, adhere it yet because I wanted to um, make it easy for the sake of recording. So that's the first one I created. Super cute. Um, let's see. The second one here is this one. And this one is kind of like my vintage tone here. And I used a lot of creams um, and then yellows so let's start on this side for this one this one was just an original white tin which i love it super super awesome um i just adhered a doily that i had in my stash here and for this paper line i believe i used the authentique um what is it called Authentique um, Lovely. So I just adhered, it's like a script um, pattern paper here, super cute. And then, um, what else did I do? I used a large off-white gardenia that I um, used some glitter on and I just used that really chunky glitter. Same thing here, but then I used um, the pearl one and not white. Here is a trellis rose in the earth tone colors. This is a daisy. Um, these are some, I forgot what these are called. Let me see. These are just called rosebuds um, in the ivory tone. And then this is just a, one of those acrylic flowers that Wild Orchid Crafts also carries. And then I adhered more of the rosebuds here. 
And then this one I just put XOXO from the collection. Super cute. And then on this side here, I used this really, really pretty um, kind of like feathery, um, what you call this, spray that I had in my stash for the longest time. I decided to use it, um, but it had like night, these nice goldish, golden like yellow feathers and these like really pretty mauve looking feathers and oh, it's so pretty. So I used another uh, gardenia flower here in the large. Then this time I put a yellow toned um, trellis rose on this side. And then peeking through here are these little, um, what are these things called again? The stamen, spiral stamens. So I used it in the white tone. And I kind of um, spread that out throughout here. And then um, again, using the same rosebuds here. And then the same rosebuds here, but then I um, decided to spray them with my Lindy's. So it's kind of like a brown tint now. And then another one of those flat back flowers there. So that's that side. Oh, and then there's some skeleton leaves kind of peeking through there that I added to the spray. And then another doily from my um, stash that I did halfway there. And then this one I just did full on on, this, on the mailbox. So this one's turned out really cute as well. I love it. And um, yeah, so make sure you guys go to Wild Rocky Crafts and check out their amazing, amazing embellishments. I know I say it in every one of my videos. Oh, these are, sorry, um, the daisies as well. I forgot. And from the Earth Tone Pack. So make sure you guys check it out. I will link all the um, information down below for those of you who want to check it out and purchase your own. Um, amazing embellishments. Happy New Year again, everyone. Talk to you guys later. Bye.